Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how ChatGPT helped me create a user registration system, actually a responsive user registration system. So you can see any type of screen you use, you should be able to get this form adjust to the screen size. So this is a responsive user registration system which I created using ChatGPT. And I'm going to walk you through how I actually did it. Remember to subscribe. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. There's a lot going to happen on ChatGPT. We'll be doing a lot of videos about it and then how you can use this to achieve whatever you want to do. So let's jump into action and see how to create this user's registration system with, within minutes. Okay, we're going to use just a few minutes to do this. Now you basically need to go to the chat platform, the ChatGPT. I'm going to leave the link at the description of this video. You go to chat.openai.com and then you can start writing your code. So you want this code to actually use HTML and CSS. Okay, so that is what we're going to do. So write a complete and responsive user registration system using HTML and CSS. And we should get this form. Yeah. Remember also that you need to have the code pasted on your favorite code editor. I'm using Visual Studio's code editor. And then you have to go ahead and do that. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to empty this, my CSS file. I need to create a CSS file and also have my HTML file. And I also have my HTML file. I'll empty that. And the code that ChatGPT is going to generate for us, we'll paste it here in order to get our results. Okay. So basically, this is what we're going to do here. I'm going to start a new chart and ask ChatGPT to do the work for us. And we're going to get something similar, or we can rewrite this in a way that we want to. But we want it to be responsive so let me start a new chart and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add and i'm going to say write a complete and responsive user registration okay user so we're going to say user registration system using html and CSS, it's enter on a keyboard, and then ChatGPT is going to go ahead and then write this code for us. So, here is an example of a complete user registration form using HTML and the CSS. We can ask this amazing platform to actually improve on the code for us. Okay, it's likely you could even get this code without the normal layouts of the HTML, and then I'll show you how to place it. You can actually generate this HTML template and then get the form and paste it directly there so ChatGPT is actually creating just the form section of this html code for us so if you have some idea about programming the rest is not really the matter for you you just have to follow what ChatGPT is going to give you so this is the css part of this code now i've already cleared my chart here my html chart so i can generate the template over here if you're using vsc code editor if you're using VSC code editor, you can easily press the shift and then the exclamation sign, hit the tab, and it's going to generate the template for you. So because ChatGPT only wrote the form for us, we just have to copy the form section of this code. We come down here and then paste it within our body of the HTML. Okay. And then we also go ahead and then get the CSS part of this code. So ChatGPT actually wrote the CSS for us. So we can copy this. And then paste it. This code is quite small. We can actually do go ahead and then do this. So I'll save this and then go ahead and then reload this. Remember, this is CSS, and if, if you want it to apply to what you are doing, they need to link your CSS in the header over here. So we just have to link our CSS code within the header. And then I use the style, so make sure this is pro. So I'm just going to do this and just save this. If I load this, I reload this, my form should change. This is why I just said normal form and it's no unique as I want. So I'll test ChatGPT to actually improve on this form for me and make it look more advanced. So what I'll do is that change this code and make the user interface more attractive so that is what i'm going to do so chat gpt is actually going to rewrite this code change this code and make the user interface more attractive 
<laughs> so ChatGPT is actually going to rewrite this code and then make it more attractive. It's going to modify the HTML and the CSS for me. So I just have to wait. It's actually going to go ahead and then modify this and make it more attractive and then to have a better user interface. So we just have to wait for some time for this to take effect and then we can just copy it and then replace our code because what we have at the moment looks so simple the one i showed you initially looked more professional so we can just request or keep asking charge to improve on the code you want to use for your form so you can keep trying this until you get something more professional and also if you have an idea about program that is why it's good to also understand what you are doing you can easily modify your code to get something even more interesting okay so we have a new html code we can copy it go ahead and then replace it with what we have over here we just go ahead and replace it with what we have over here we're also going to wait for the css and then we copy the css as well so it's giving more of the formatting so css will allow you to style your form so we can see they are getting more code for that which i believe is going to make our form more attractive so we just have to wait for this to go through chat gpt is done with this so we can just copy this code and then replace our css from here so i'll just replace my css from here the colors and everything you can actually modify it if you have an idea about coding so we we'll go back and reload our form and see how this is going to look like so you see how amazing this form is looking now we we'll just modify this form and the interface is looking more professional so this is how the form is looking at the moment and we can submit this form over here we have the terms and agreement which you can accept and then submit this form so you can keep writing this code the way you want see if you want to modify after you paste this in your code editor i see everything the colors over here if you want to change the color of the button i can easily modify the color from there change the color save this if i go back and then reload this within my browser you can see i've changed this color over here if you want to modify everything you have the privilege to do that so if you're a programmer charge gpt is actually not going to take your job but it's actually going to make your job even what easy so it's going to make your job very simple and it's going to give you the speed to code a full application like subscribe for more techniques tips and tricks right here on this channel we'll be talking more into details about how you can program and you can rely on charge GPT to program and develop amazing application till i come your way again bye bye